guys, it's Angel here, and I'm gonna do a different video today. I'm gonna do uh, a first taste. Um, I haven't done one of those ever, I don't think, here. No, no, I don't think I have. Because um, generally, I don't try different things. Uh, but today, I wanted to try um, this ISO Pure protein drink. Yeah, it looks like fruit punch, right? But this is actually uh, protein. This has, uh, it's 40 grams of uh, whey protein. So this is like having uh, muscle milk or um, optimum nutrition's, you know, shakes or whatever, any kind of protein mix. And the nice thing about this is um, you drink the bottle, it's 160 calories, you get 40 grams of protein. Um, I believe this is the zero carb one. Yeah, this is a zero carb, so there's no carbohydrates in this. Um, I've been reading some reviews. Um, they sell this in powder form as well, where you can just mix it and drink it, and it kind of turns similar to this. Um, for the most part, people saying it's very easy to digest, it's very good, but some of the people um, complain that some of the flavors have an odd aftertaste. So I wanted to test it. I wanted to taste it and just see what I get. Um, so I'm reading some of the uh, uh, ingredients here. Um, or nutrition facts, if you will. It's not really much of an ingredient. Um, 80 milligrams of sodium, 45 milligrams of potassium, 40 grams of protein. Uh, there's no vitamin A or C or anything. A little bit of calcium, and uh, and that's it. And you drink the whole thing. Um, this particular flavor is the Alpine Punch flavor. They have all different flavors, but our vitamin shop didn't really have that many. They had coconut flavor, which is like a smaller bottle. I think it's just 20 ounce. I think that one was like a 16 ounce bottle, and it's only 20 grams of protein. So that one probably would taste more like water. But again, I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, but I, I like fruit punchy kind of drinks, so I figured I'd try this this one. I bought a box, so I'll see. If I don't like it, I'm going to have to grit and bear it for 12 servings <laughs> but anyway um, yeah let's just do the, the first taste now I did actually put one in the fridge in the fridge to um, get cold and I put it in the freezer for a little while but it actually froze so I took this one which is slightly cool it's not very cold um, actually at, sm at first smell it does smell like fruit punch um, I doubt it tastes like it all right let's drink Mmm. Now I understand that aftertaste. Ooh, it's an interesting aftertaste. It's not that bad, actually. It does taste like fruit punch. But initially, when you first taste it, um, it does have like a chemically kind of taste to it. But it's not very strong. I mean, I was thinking it was going to be like a really bad taste it's not bad tasting actually it tastes like fruit punch but you get like a little I don't know it's hard to explain let me let me, let me try some more it almost tastes like alcohol I like to say I'm not sure though actually not bad. I, I think I could drink this for sure. I don't think this would be a problem. Now, this drink is actually quite expensive. Uh, for a case of 12, it's about $45 at Vitamin Shop. Uh, but in retail, um, you know, it could go upwards of $60 for the case. So, it's give or take, it's about like uh, $3 to $4 a bottle. So, that's expensive if you really think about it. Um, but, the positive is if you can drink it and you don't get any of those after effects like you do for some of the other um, um, protein shakes or drinks, then it's well worth the price, I think. Um, I have somewhat issues with digestion, but it really depends on the day and what I've had. Um, but if I have a lot of muscle milk in a day, I feel very bloated and um, I don't like that feeling. But I have to do my diet has to have protein in it in order for it to be effective. I'll taste some more. I can tell you this, it goes down really quick. It does have an aftertaste, but I just can't pin it. It doesn't taste like it's not horrible. I think it 
If you try it, you, you will you would understand what I'm talking about. This has no sugar in it or anything, so it may be whatever they're using as a uh, as a sugar substitute, and they say it's not aspartame or any sugar-like chemical. So I I don't know. Let's read here. Filtered water, ion exchange, whey milk, protein isolate, natural and artificial flavors, sucralose, polysorbate 80, and phosphoric acid, and uh, FDNC red, which is why it's punch. Hmm. Not bad. So anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first taste. Um, I, I really just can't pin a word on what it tastes like. It tastes like fruit punch, but... When you take the first sip, the immediate taste is not fruit punch. It tastes, it, it has like a like a taste. People call it an aftertaste. I would call it a before taste. But but overall, it's not an overpowering, strong taste. Like I, you know, I've already drank most of it, so it's not that bad. It's interesting. So, if you guys have any questions on the ISO Pure, feel free to leave me comments down below, um, and I'll try to answer them. I'm not the the aficionado for ISO Pure. They didn't sponsor this or anything. I just want to do a first taste and just kind of get it out there, just to see if any people have had the same um, or similar experience with this product. And if they do, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm just curious to see what other people think of it. Um, I liked it. It's not bad. Um, this bottle is just... Wow. This would be very hard to um, take around, though. Um, I would think that this is probably... Um, this is probably very... Um, um, bad tasting if it's hot. You probably want to drink this when it's cold. That'd probably be my only suggestion. And th this was slightly cool, so it wasn't that bad. Um, I think cold it would taste better. Um, but anyway, anyway, leave me comments, like the video, subscribe for more strange videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.